Hi, Matt here from Twinkle. Today I'm going to show you some really useful phonics activity maths from the Twinkle website. When you download this resource, you'll notice that there are six maths in each pack, and each mat comes with its own answers. The mats also come in an editable version, so you can change them however you like. Each mat is split into different sections. The first box requires your pupils to read each of the words aloud to a friend. In the second box, your pupils need to write the real words next to the treasure chest and the nonsense words next to the bin. The next box requires them to circle all of the words that contain a particular diagraph. Then they have to add some sound buttons to the words. In the next box, your pupils need to write the missing sounds into each word. And finally, they need to write a word that contains a particular sound. You could laminate and cut out each section on the activity mats and have them as extension tasks in your classroom. You could challenge your pupils to pick any of the words from the mats and then try and use it in a sentence. The read these words to a friend box is ideal practice for the phonics screening check. You could challenge your pupils even further by asking them to add sound buttons to each of the words in this box. Or you could chop off the alien pictures and ask your children to sort the cards into those that are real and those that are not real. They could even just put a cross or a tick next to them. Or they could use the trash and treasure idea and then sort the cards accordingly. You could even ask your pupils to take a real word and then mix up the letters to make a funny alien word. To further develop the missing sounds activity, you could chop off the pictures and then get your pupils to fill in the missing sounds before trying to match them to the correct picture. And why not see how many words with a particular spelling pattern your children could make? You could even time them, perhaps give them a minute to see how many words with that spelling pattern they can come up with. You could even practice those alphabet and dictionary skills by getting your pupils to put the words into alphabetical order or to look up any words that they don't understand. There are lots more resources on the Twinkle website to support your teaching of phonics and we even have some really useful lesson videos too, so why not check those out? I hope you found this video useful. See you next time.